The rain didn't seem to bother Tyson one bit. He still looked forward to a toy each time he hit on something. My point for bringing him in was not to catch kids. If we were going to bring in dogs to catch kids, I didn't want to do it because I was afraid of changing the culture of a school to the negative. Instead, Han says the idea is to prevent drugs from coming into the school in the first place. The students know the dog will be coming several times throughout the year. They even had a chance to meet the dog and watch him work at an assembly last fall. The fewer times you bring dogs in, the more it's going to be about catching kids. Um, but if you bring them in more often, then it's about keeping drugs out of school. This is the first year Benzie Central Schools has brought in dogs from InterQuest, a private company based in Texas but with franchises nationwide. It'll cost the district about $3,000 a year, depending on how many times Tyson visits. The reason that we went with private, uh, private company is because the dogs are trained for all those things that are inappropriate or would be contraband for schools. The dog is trained on four different type of contraband odors. Most people know him as a drug dog that can find illicit drugs such as marijuana, cocaine, heroin, and meth. We also train him on drinking alcohol, which can include beer, whiskey, wine, and empties, gunpowder based items like recently fired weapons, ammunition, and fireworks, and then a variety of over-the-counter and prescription meds that are generally common to abuse. Is it working? Han says yes. We have as many drugs here as any school has. We're not, we're a typical high school. Um, but I really believe over the course of this year, all indications show that we have fewer drugs being brought to our school. Principal Hahn says when items such as ibuprofen are found, that's an opportunity to talk to the students about what should and should not be kept in school lockers. For other items, alcohol, illegal drugs, that's when evidence is collected and the investigation is handed over to the authorities. In Benzie County, Tom Kramer, ABC 29 and 8.